Today we're going to give you some buyer tips on what to look for in a new construction home for builders in the San Antonio area. And we're also going to give you the red flags. Hi, I'm Pam Roberts, the owner of the Gateway Group at Keller Williams here in San Antonio. On our channel, we give buyer tips and selling secrets for the real estate market. So if you have any questions, I'm going to link my information in the details below. And don't hesitate to leave a comment and we'd be glad to get back with you. The number one thing to look for with a builder is reputation. Reputation is number one when you're talking about doing business with any type of company. And how do you find out which companies have the best reputation? Well, you can always check with your neighbors. You can look online for reviews. And you can also check with local experts like real estate agents like myself to find out what they think about the different builders in town. Just take into consideration when you're looking at reviews online, there's always going to be some dissatisfied customers, but you really want to look at consistency and what the customers are saying about their overall experience with the particular company. That's going to be a good way to find out if they're a good fit for you. The next thing to do when you're shopping for a good builder is to visit many different communities and different builders so that you can see the types of homes that they manufacture. So there's obviously different price points in the construction business. So you've got moderate price, price points and those have a certain quality level. When you go to the mid price points, you're going to see an upgrade or things that are a little bit better, such as cabinetry or flooring or even materials such as countertops. And then you've got the upper level, which is the luxury market. And many of those builders are actually custom builders. So they don't just build the same home over and over. They're building to your specs. Make sure within your budget, you're picking the best builder that fits your needs. Next, don't get caught up in the luxury look of the model homes because the model homes are built to draw you in and to entice you to the community. And yes, they're beautiful. Usually they have the latest materials and colors and that's all great. But they also add a lot of upgrades such as specialty flooring or specialty lighting. And those are not necessarily going to be available in the standard package. And those are going to be upgrades. Take notes when you visit these builders. Take notes on the price points, take notes on the materials, take notes on what you see. Also visit some of the actual homes that are under construction. Be very careful. Obviously when they're under construction, there could be nails or loose boards and that sort of thing. But if you go into some of these homes and look at what's happening, you can also get a feel for, are they a quality manufacturer? And are they going to live up to the standards that you want to be met? The key component, no matter what your price point is to make sure you get the best quality for the best value. And that means looking at all of the different price points in the communities, looking at all of the homes that are available. Sometimes you have to visit more than one community if you like a particular floor plan. Ask them where that floor plan might be located in the city elsewhere, and you can go take a look at it in person there. As always, when you're working with builders, check with the real estate agent because again, they are going to have the best information for you. They are going to know where the pitfalls are when working with some of these builders. And also when it gets to the point where you're actually going to the design center, the real estate agent has a lot of information that will help you to build the right quality features into your home that will make it a great resale property when you get ready to move down the road. Okay, next, let's talk about some of those red flags we mentioned. Obviously, inferior quality, I think, is one of the most important things to look out for when you're trying to find a builder. That's why I said it's so important to go to visit some of these job sites and look at how they keep their job sites. Are they clean and tidy? Are they a mess? Do they have people inside them that are actually working? You know, right now, since we've had the pandemic, there have been so many builders that have been behind. So you want to make sure they're active in their communities with their vendors and things are getting done. When I said check the reviews, I meant look at the reviews online on social media. Most of the builders have their own social media pages. You can look at the comments there. You can also look at the Better Business Bureau. A lot of times dissatisfied customers are going to go directly to the Better Business Bureau to find out 
what is the scoop on these builders and is this something that they need to look out for when they're building a home? Here's another one that I like to talk about with my clients and that is how are their homes standing up over time? Many of these builders have communities that have been established. Have your real estate agent take you to some of the properties that these builders have made and they're maybe five years old or 10 years old and does the community still look fresh? You know, so many communities where the builder is not using the best quality materials, they start to look shabby pretty quick and you'd be very surprised. That wraps up our highlights of what to look for in a new builder and what are the red flags. So if you have any questions about building a home in the San Antonio area, make sure you reach out to us. We have lots of resources that we can help you out with. Thanks and have a great day.